Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Diva Daddy. This is a safe space for Diva Stands and not you uh, and nobody else. <laughs> Today is the day we get the most wanted pack for WWE 2K22. And in Diva Daddy fashion, I wanna check it out. And I'm only gonna be playing as the one female that's in the pack because that's what we do on this channel, women only. This is a safe space for diva stands and women stands, but mostly diva stands and nobody else. Now, I did record a video for the Bonsai pack with Casey Catanzaro, and I just loafed it on editing and uploading that. I just scrapped it. What I am going to do is talk about Casey in this video as well, because so far, they're the only two females that have been released as you'll see, and there's what been, what, like t over 10 men now? What's new? Anyways that's what this channel's for okay let's get right into it i don't know if i want to look at her model first or play sorry let's look at her model first so i just downloaded it today let's get right into it so, oh look at her already in her render oh she's serving now i was kind of petrified that she was just gonna have like a slicked ponytail like i didn't know what kind of hair they were going with even in the screenshots that they released oh my god i can see her right now my peripheral vision and i'm shaking the screenshots that were released literally just looked like her hair was on a ponytail like she didn't have the half up half done half up half down hairstyle and i was low-key on 2k's neck because i'm like i want that hairstyle in the game i really wanted her model to have that i wanted billy k actually to have that hairstyle in this game but they didn't give it to her so at least give it to like indie but i also do want this hairstyle in creation suite as well now I can stop ignoring her in my peripheral vision and actually look at her. And this model looks fantastic. Now, I did see one of my mutuals complain that they did make her a little too thick. Now I can agree. She's a little thick on It's giving black wig, thick ass, give him whiplash. Yo, she dumb thick. I think she needs to change her finisher to the yam slam. <gasps> this wig. <gasps> oh. Oh my God. God, she looks so good. Does she, what color are her, what, what is her natural eye color? Because some pictures she has blue eyes and gray eyes, and then some she has brown. Is her natural color brown and she just wears gray or blue contacts? I think I would have preferred her to have like gray eyes. But damn, she looks so pretty. Let me see this wig. Ooh, I want this wig so bad in Creation Suite. I don't think we'll get it just because she's a DLC character, but there's a good possibility that we'll get it in like 2K23 or something. Look at the length that's literally touching her butt crack. Right, let me see how much I can edit her clothes. Okay. I'm pretty sure she's had this gear format for a while, so like it's all a matter of like changing the colors. Superstar Threads tease. Shout out to you if you remember that shit. I think she wore yellow. She also wore green when she was teaming with Persia Prada. Pour one out for my sis. Okay, let's check out Miss Casey Catanzaro, also known as Katana Chance. I mean, I only looked at her once, so it's like, it's easier to forget what she looks like. They changed her name, but her name is still Casey Catanzaro in this game. Now, I did play with her once. I will say, I wish she was kind of like a little smaller. WWE, the makers of this game, the designers, whatever, they're a little iffy on body types. So like I clearly pointed out that they made Indy Hartwell a little bit too thick. And I feel like the same might be with Casey. Casey's a really, really, really tiny girl. And I was intrigued to see how they would have pulled it off. I mean, it's okay, but I feel like her body could have used a little bit more work. Her face is cute. Her hair is nice. This is a really outdated model, by the way. Like the outfit, like that's from like what, three years ago? This would have been cute for like 2K21. That would have released like two years ago. But not 2K22, especially as a DLC character. Yep. Okay, why is Indy not here? I'm gonna go edit her tag entrance right now since clearly they don't have one. The fuck? Yep, this is their entrance. Oh my gosh. This is cute. Okay, I don't want to spoil it for myself. So we're just gonna save that. Ooh, ooh look at Indy's yams. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell, the way! Yeah, that's perfect. Here. Partners, Candice LeRae. This will be my first time ever playing as Candice LeRae. <laughs> God, no. Isn't she gone now? Oh, yeah, she's literally, she literally left the company. She's not even with the dubs anymore. I will say, like, I thought Candice LeRae would have been, like, the natty of NXT. Like, she would have just stayed there and rotted and just, like, 
help the new girls, coach them, kind of like what Ember Moon was posed to do. Like, WWE came with her, like, no, we're not going to put you on TV and give you a character. We're going to make you, like, <laughs> coach these girls. And I feel like Candace would have been comfortable in that position, like, not, like, being a Natty. Like, Natty, I feel like Natty has no problem, even though they do still give Natty victories and opportunities and matches and stuff. I feel like Candace would have had no problem, like, being that role, like, being a coach in WWE, but... She's gone now. She's moved to the alumni section. Who knows what the future has in store for Miss LaRae. But she's like a mom right now taking care of her child. So, like, I'm pretty sure wrestling is not at the front of her... I was going to say frontal cortex or whatever that part of your brain is called. Yeah. I turned the entrance music all the way off to avoid copyright. So, probably why I cannot hear anything. It's a little loud. Interesting. Um, the way like the announcers like yelling over the commentary, like I cannot hear. Interesting. I'm like listening to the commentary, see what they're saying. Indy looks so flawless. Look at her. I'm gonna do a singles match with her after this. Oh. Is that what she did? Did she literally like treat Candace like a queen? I wasn't really paying attention to them as a team. But, like I felt like Indy was like that girl who did like Candace's dirty work and Candace like just bossed her around. Like why is she lifting the ropes for her? Perhaps the best women's tag team in all of WWE. Cute. I like them as a team actually. Oh, I had to give her all her new updated outfits. Sorry, I could not deal with that. Um, what was I saying? I had to download all her, like, updated Katana Chance attires. I was not about to play, like, even the last video that I recorded, I was not about to play with her outfits from, like, 2017, 2018, whenever she was. <laughs> I love this part where she climbs up and, like, campaigns. So dope. Ooh, killer. Come on, Billy Kay. Yes, Miss Caden Carter. By the way, if you have a Caden Carter, use Naomi's wig. Like, look how good it looks. Even though it's not dreadlocks, it pretty much looks like it with the hair dye glitch. Because the hair dye glitch dyes each individual strand, so it makes everything look, look loose. If that makes sense, whatever. Yes, gorgeous indie. Okay. She's so big, I love it. Tall queen. She should have been on desk, don't at me. I even saw her tweet today where she's like, I'm worth the wait. But still, like, she should have been on desk. Like, literally every person who's DLC for this game should have been on desk. But that, that's just like all due to delays and like planning from a long time ago. Like this game wasn't on the same cycle as like... If this game were to be come out, coming out October this year, I don't feel like it would be on the same cycle. So, like, this year had, like, years worth of planning, right? Which explains, like, all of the outdated models, the lack of NXT 2.0, etc. But I would have liked to see Indy on disc, as well as Xia Lee, Piper Niven, who's been on NXT UK since it's in... Not since its inception, she wasn't one of the original cast members, roster members, whatever you want to call it. But she was there for a long time since... Since 2019, I think Dewdrop got there. It's Piper Niven. Late 20, 2018 is when NXT came out. But I don't remember which. Whatever. I can't wait to see her model. I think Stacy Keebler is the next DLC. Can't wait to see that. Ooh, come on, Casey. It's Katana. Oh, nope. Oh. Drop kick. Pow. Oh, face smash. I don't even know Miss Indy's finishers. Oh, you're done. You're done. Ooh, her pull mark slam. Let's get some Candace up in here. Actually, no, we'll tag in Candace when Kaden gets her Bati in here. But for now, we're still gonna lay the smack down on Miss Catanzaro. Oh, what is... Oh! Is that really Indy's finisher? Just a sidewalk slam? 
Rosa Mendez's impact. A springboard front drop kick. When has Indy ever done a springboard front drop kick? Her move is literally a dive, a springboard elbow. No? No ads. That's what I'm say. No ads. Double team. Double team, double team, double team. Swing into the ropes. Ooh, elbow smash. And this is my first time playing as Candice LeRae, and will probably be the last. Ooh, drop kick. I just want to say shout out to Candice LeRae for letting us have her wig in Creation Suite because that came clutch. It's a really cute wig, I must say. Okay, tagging Kaden, like I want some fresh meat. Ooh, Kaden tagging in herself. Let's go, girl. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna roll you up. Oh, crucifix, crucifix. Oh. 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 Uh, that was a sickening combination there. Can't even lie. One, two, five. Get up, Kaysen. I mean, Kaden. Reverse. I guess not. Kaden reverse. Oh, come on, Kaden. Oh! Is this Wicked Stepsister? But I thought I was doing her finisher. Boom! Let me say boom. Oh. Oh. But I thought the Wicked Stepsister was her finisher. When was the last time she did this submission move? Did Indy take Casey's ass out? Oh no. Other way around. Oh no, she's still standing. Come on, Indy, get her. What are you doing? Flopping as my tag member. Drag up by your scalp and take your cheap ass hair out of your head. Is Indy's hair all natural, by the way? Because she has like hair. Indy has hair. No, Kaden. Oh, and a roll up. One, two. Oh, oh no. Oh shoot, oh shoot, Kaden, no! Oh! No, no. No. No Katana chance. Ooh. Damn. I thought she was about to hit her from the shirt, all she did was do a basement drop kick. Great. Ooh, reversed. Oh! Tags him as Hartwell back in here. This after all is a showcase of her. Kaden. Casey. Katana. Too many K words. Damn, they really made Wicked Stepsister. I thought Candice was literally clearing bitches with this move. Like, she was literally ending all her matches with this. Why did they make her her signature? That made no sense. Anyways, we want Indy back in. Okay, I pressed X to grapple. Like, I don't know why they still crash in. Anyways, get your ass in here, Indy. You're big body gal. Ooh! Ooh. I was not clean. Oh my god, Kaden. <laughs> Swooping in at the last second. You know, girl? The hit detection in this game. There. Boom. Finisher time. Now I have no idea why her finisher is a drop kick when I swear it was a diving elbow drop. That, that's beyond me. Mind you, I'm not the one that pays attention to Miss Candice LeRae's moveset. I mean, Indy Hartwell's moveset. But I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them do their shit. And that's how the way does it. Per. I love when she walked in. Ooh, let's see this victory now. Cute. Okay, I want to edit Indy's outfit. Maybe there could be one on Community Creations I could just download quickly instead of doing it myself. Look at these. Gorgeous. I'm going to just download that. Shout out to the creator who posted these. Cute. 
These are cute. Oh my god, her brown and black. It's giving Samantha DeMartin. Isn't that her, is that her real name? Alexa, who is Indy Hartwell? Samantha DeMartin is an Australian professional wrestler best known by the ring name Indy Hartwell. Peja. Peja Peralta. I'm gonna give her that Kaylee Ray wig and see how she looks with that. Pour one out for my sister, Persia Parada. <laughs> She'll be greatly missed. <laughs> Thinking of just giving her this Kaylee Ray wig, plain and simple. I think this would have got the job done. Shout out to Miss Shayna Baszler. Oof, this controversy that's going on right now because of Sasha and Naomi. Ooh, first of all, I stand with Sasha and Naomi. Point blank period. And if you don't stand with Sasha and Naomi, get the f off my channel. Get off my channel. Yes, because we support black women. Yes, we support black women speaking up for themselves and knowing what they deserve. That is just so messy. WWE just completely throwing Miss Sasha and Naomi under the ball. <laughs> the gag of it all, the gag of it all. I don't know the, the deep ends of everything, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but just know I stand with Miss Sasha and Naomi. Oh, even just her model, like look how gorgeous, like giving. Versus Peja Peralta. NXT 2.0. I literally thought they were gonna be the second coming of the Iconics, just less humorous and more like, oh. but I guess that's not happening anymore. Like look at the wigs, like I just wanna transport her wig to her, but like she's not even an active wrestler and actively part of WWE anymore, so like I don't really care, but like at the same time I want that wig, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, yes, Solo Queen. Not Dexter Loomis and her entrance video on the back. <laughs> per, know your worth, Queen. Like Naomi and Sasha do. Rather than not announcing her. Oh, there you go. One fall! One fall! Representing the way from Melbourne, Australia. Sickening. I love this entrance too. I love the lighting. I love the entrance. I love the camera work. Hair is a serve. Dare I go on? Ooh, come on, angles. Yup. Always has the size advantage inside the ring. Has already seen so much success. Fuck them up, Queen. And new wig. From Melbourne, Australia. Huerta Barreta. The W. <clears throat> oh my god, cute. I love Persia with that wig. Okay, let's get into this. Mmm, drop kick your ass, Persia. <laughs> I wish she was still there. Like, the car compliments in these models so good. Like, they would have been such a cute tag team. I want Persia back. Mmm. And she goes for Indy. Oh, what a kick out. Powerbomb, lift. Let's go right into the turnbuckle. Pow. Didn't quite hit it. I've never seen Indy Harwell do a springboard drop kick. I mean, she very well could have done one, but like when I think of Indy Harwell, I think of the springboard elbow drop she does in the corner. I've like, am I crazy? Maybe. But I know that's her finisher, that elbow drop. I ain't seen no drop kick. Oh, and a drop kick. There's a drop kick. Ooh, and a roll up. One. Two. You thought, Miss Parada. Boom. Climbs over. And. Oh, -hoo, Frankensteiner. Ooh, I'm almost halfway there. Uh, yes, I am. She keeps reversing my signature. I don't know what to do, y'all. Okay, I might lose. Persia has my number, low key. No Peja. I should have made their partners Dexter. Actually, no. Persia's man is not even in this game, right? 
Oh shoot, opportunity miss. Could have made Dexter Lou miss her. Persia, who are you shooing? You're the one that doesn't have it. I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. Not again. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Ooh, and a drop kick. Drop kick. Ah! Oh, ju that was brutal. Oh, don't worry. Let's do it on the side. She is queuing it up. Huh! Boom. Time for the Peligrosa. Oh, no. Signature first. Bam. Now the Peligrosa. Peligrosa. Girl. Dude. Not the wheels are turning in my head. Ooh. Pow. Done. Nori what Peja? Now that's impressive. One, two, three. Now let's see this victory motion. Gorgeous. Yes. Are these her updated graphics or does she have new stuff? Gorgeous hair, gorgeous face, gorgeous attire. I love it. I love everything about this model. Yes, Miss Indy. Cute. I'm gonna do a mixed tag match with Dexter Loomis. Let's do Core Jade and should we do another DLC man? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Who else was in this pack? Boogeyman, Cactus Jack. Let's do Ilya Dragon off. I didn't give them a couple's entrance. I saw someone on Twitter give them Maria and um, Mike Canales' entrance, which is a serve. But ain't nobody got time for that right now. This peach outfit is so cute too. She really pulls off a. Andy Harwell is a beautiful girl, and beautiful girls can pull off any ato, any ato for, any outfit, any attire, and any color. Okay. Serve. From Australia to NXT and ready to conquer WWE. Come on, Michael Cole with those lines. Oops. His daddy. And his partner from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis. Cute. Skip. What's wrong with her tights? Oh, did they bring them back? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse, this superstar. I think they brought the tights back. Because with the first update, they removed the tights underneath the Charlotte trunks, and that's where I put her sock logos on. Bruh. Where's her where She's actually missing her socks. This game keeps messing up my creations. Like what gives? Okay, but she's wearing them. I'm confused. Anyways, let's go. I keep missing the shot. I missed the lockups. I missed the lockups. Why is deck? Oh, yeah, I forget. It's mixed tag. And when it's mixed tag, the men automatically get tagged. Oh, no, he's playing as Dexter. The men automatically get tagged. You know what, Ilya? That's what you get for being in the game and Mako Satomura not being in the game. Because where the f is Mako Satomura? Where is the NXT UK Women's Champion? Why is the men's NXT Champion in the game, but the NXT Women's Champion is not in the game? Where is the equality? Just for that, I'm beating your ass. Ilya Dragunov. Get him, Daddy Lunas. Get that little twink. Oh, and a DDT. What? Two. Can you do double team moves? Can you do mixed tag moves? Or will it result in BQ? Let me see. Double team? Okay, period. Oh, oh, I forgot they implemented like these new mixed tag moves. That was with the last game, right? Oh, 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 oh. I love this new wig on Korra, by the way. Oh, that's how you do it. And then Ilya rolls out. That's so cute. I love how they did that. I'm happy they brought mixed tag matches and moves back in the game. I didn't play too much with them in 2K20 because that game was. Yeah. Pow. Take that, cool raw. One, two, one. Ilya, I'll drag you by your scalp and take your cheap ass hair out of your head. 
Mmm. Mmm. And that's a no disqualification because boys can hit girl girls can hit boys, but boys can't hit girls. Done Cora. Mmm. One. Two. And that's how you make quick work. All right, and that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment and subscribe if you enjoy me, if you enjoy my 2K content. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Diva Daddy. That's where I post my wrestling content. That's where I lie to each other. That's where I talk my shit. So make sure to follow me there. Indy Hartwell's model, sickening. Katana Chance's model, kind of sickening. Indy's more sickening her, but like, these are the two women we have to work with so far for DLC, so. As women's wrestling fans always do, we take what we can get. Diva Daddy, out.